hi everyone and welcome back to our channel so today in this video we are going to discuss about uh, one of the essential feature in salesforce so with this feature you can get the updated data automatically without having to remember to run reports every day week or a month and this is what scheduling is all about and by the end of the video you will know how to set up schedule reports select recipients customize delivery and many more so let's get started and before starting the process we will see what is report scheduling in salesforce so in salesforce scheduling reports allow us to automate the delivery of report to specific users or group on a regular basis and this feature is especially useful for businesses that rely on consistent data updates so let's take an example to understand it better so so suppose your sales team need weekly updates on their performance or if project manager want monthly report on project status so for this requirement you can set up a schedule to deliver this data automatically so with this you can avoid manually running the reports and before we dive into the scheduling process let's talk about the permissions so not everyone can schedule reports in salesforce by default you need schedule reports permission assigned to your profile or permission set and typically salesforce admins managers and certain user roles may have this access so if you don't see the scheduling option check with your admin to confirm your permissions and now we will move ahead and see the process of scheduling reports in salesforce so as of now i logged into my salesforce account and from here we will see a step-by-step -step example how to subscribe or schedule a report so that user can receive an email with updated report at the scheduled time so from here first we need to navigate on the reports tab for that you have to click on the app launcher and here search and select reports and if you are in the sales application then you can directly click on the reports tab and now in the reports tab you can see the number of reports and from here you have to select the report that you want to subscribe or schedule so for that you have to click on the drop down on the right hand side of the report name and as you click on it you will see the option subscribe so click on this option now in the subscription settings we can see that we have to set the frequency days time and there is option to add the file also and after this we have to add the recipients to whom this report is going to get delivered and you can also define the condition to send the reports so let's see how we will do it so first to set the frequency we have three options daily weekly and monthly so in this example i will select the option for frequency as weekly if you will select the option weekly you will see the number of days of week and in case you will select the option monthly you will you will see the different option to set the frequency like like if you select the month then you have to also select the week of the month like every month we can consider there are four weeks so you have to select in which week the report will be scheduled and will be sent to the user and after selecting the week you have to select the day of the week so in this example i am going to select the frequency as weekly and the day as monday and after this you have to also select the times so here i am selecting time as 10 am and also there is option to attach the file and after this you have to select the recipients who are going to receive the report and this option is not available in the private reports so now we are going to add recipients by clicking on the edit recipients button so for selecting the recipient you have to first select the type of entity of the recipient so here we have the options user role role and subordinates or public groups so these are the entities to whom you can send or schedule the reports for so in this example i have selected the entity as roles and then we have to select the available roles so i want to schedule this report for the channel sales team so all the user with the role channels that are there in the role of channel sales team they will get this report and you can also add multiple role multiple user uh, for that you have to simply click on this add button so after selecting the recipients of the reports you have to go back and at last click on the add button so now you can see in the section recipients you can see the roles or the users that we have added right now so in the option run report is select the option me so that you can test the report better and in the condition you can also add the condition to send the reports so with the conditions it will be like when this condition will be met then you will be get notified or this then only this report will be sent email and in the email options you will see that either you want to send the summary and report both or only the summary of the report so you can select either of the option and at last you have to click on the save button to save the subscription of report so now as we click on the save button you can see this checkbox in the subscribed column so it means that this report is scheduled for the recipients that we have selected 
and it will be sent to the users when the conditions are true in case you have applied the conditions and now in addition to this i will also like to tell you that how you can unsubscribe this report so we can only unsubscribe those reports that are subscribed or scheduled so for example as of now i have subscribed or scheduled the reports weekly opportunities so i can only unsubscribe this one so for unsubscribing this report we have to again click on the drop down on the right hand side and then click on the subscribe button and now in the edit subscription window of the report you can see this button unsubscribe that is at the bottom of the edit window so you have to simply click on this unsubscribe button and then a message will appear on the screen that are you sure you want to unsubscribe from this report so from here you can click on the unsubscribe button so as you click on the unsubscribe button the report will be unsubscribed and now i will also like to tell you how you can view the reports that is scheduled so to view the scheduled reports you have to go to the setup page so as of now i'm on the setup page of salesforce lightning and here in the quick find box you have to search and select schedule jobs so under the heading and from here select schedule jobs and in the schedule jobs you will see and in the schedule jobs you will see the report that we have scheduled right now so this is the report that i have scheduled that is email for weekly opportunity so this is how you can view the scheduled reports in salesforce so this was all about scheduling subscribing unsubscribing and viewing the scheduled reports in salesforce so i hope that you have understood whatever i have explained in the video so if you have liked this video then please do like share and subscribe and do not forget to hit the bell icon so that every time we upload a new video you will get a notification regarding that and thank you for giving your time and watching this video till last see you in the next video till then goodbye